Should I have a house inspection? Yes or no? You're buying a house. It's a big step, one that you want to go smoothly with no problems. And one question that we receive as realtors is, do I need a house inspection? In this video, I will answer that question and give you my thoughts on it. Once again, I'm Bruce Boyce from Homes and Life and I'm giving you information based on my experience. And thank you to those who have subscribed to this channel. So the short answer to this question is yes, you should have a home inspection. In some previous videos, I have mentioned or touched on home inspections, but here I'll lay out some reasons for an inspection. Purchasing a home is a big deal for most people, both financially and emotionally. When you take possession of that new to you home, you want to eliminate or minimize surprises. Surprises in homes are not always fun. So you need to find out as much as you can about the home prior to completing the purchase. Enter the home inspector. They are hired to assess the overall health of the home and they can give you an understanding of your home and if it was built and maintained correctly. The home inspector should be certified and licensed in your area. They will usually belong to one or more associations and these associations provide them with additional and ongoing training. You'll find the majority of home inspectors also have personal experience in some aspect of the building industry. So where do you find a good home inspector? My first suggestion is to ask your realtor for one or more names of inspectors that they trust. Realtors tend to hear the good and the bad about home inspectors and they're usually quite willing to pass on a couple of names to you. They don't get paid for referring these names to you but they do want an inspector that will do a thorough job for you. We've noticed some buyers may want to have a family member or a friend do an inspection and in a lot of cases they do have valuable input but they will usually not go into as much detail as a licensed home inspector. The home inspector has no emotional involvement in the purchase and is there to give you an objective or impartial observation of the condition of the home. A proper home inspection literally covers hundreds of items from the foundation to the roof. Many of the inspectors these days will also include thermal imaging, which can help in finding wet spots in the walls. Sometimes the inspection will find situations that requires a more specialized inspection. Chimneys are example. They often require WETT or wood energy technology transfer inspection for the insurance company. And mold or asbestos could also require further specialization. In some areas, some locales, the inspection may indicate that a pest inspection is needed. So who should attend the inspection? My recommendation is that you, the buyer, should be there for that inspection. Your realtor will often want to be there as well. And you may want to even book a day off from work to be in attendance. A full home inspection could take three to five hours depending on the size and the condition of the home. Some inspectors may say that the buyer could come for the for a half hour at the end of the inspection and they'll summarize the inspection for them. But my suggestion would be to be there for the whole inspection so the inspector can explain what they're doing as they work through their list. They will also often explain some of the details for maintenance and safety as well. In addition, it can give you, the buyer, a chance to do any extra measuring you need to do or scoping out of projects that you may want to do in the future. I'm not going to go into the details of what all is covered in a home inspection. That would take too much time here. But the inspector can explain what is included in their inspection prior to you hiring them. If issues are discovered during the inspection, you will be provided with photos and details of the problem or problems. In most inspections, there will be some issues, but the majority of them will be minor. 
easily remedy. So what happens if the inspection uncovers a major issue? At this point, you can just be really thankful that you had an inspection done. Your purchase contract will usually have a condition that roughly states that the purchase is conditional to a home inspection that is satisfactory to you. The wording may be slightly different in various locations. For example, a malfunctioning furnace is an expensive item to change. So, working with your realtor, you can explain to the seller that they could either have the furnace repaired or replaced, or possibly the purchase price amended, or you will not remove the satisfactory inspection condition, thus collapsing the offer to purchase. Of course, this may or may not be important to you depending on the market and the price that you've negotiated. And should a new house be inspected? Both the builder and the city have inspected the new home, but often it's with the purpose of meeting building codes and safety codes in order to obtain occupancy permits. Sometimes there's details that get overlooked, so an inspection may find these, and if there are none, that gives you the assurance that all is well. It could be a limited inspection on a new home. One other time we see home inspections is when a seller has a pre-inspection done. This can be helpful for both the buyer and the seller. The seller won't be upset by what the buyer's inspector finds and on the pre-inspection if they find that repairs are needed, they can have the work done ahead of time and supply receipts for the potential buyer. The potential buyer can either accept the pre-inspection or pay to have their own inspection done. In summary, yes, get a home inspection. It can give you peace of mind knowing the condition of the home that you're purchasing, as well as receiving some tips on maintaining that home. And I'd like to thank you again for watching this video. And if the information here has been of some value to you, please click on the subscribe button below. There are more videos to come. Thank you. Remember, life is an adventure. I'll talk to you again soon.